Hello and welcome. This is going to be a reading for fire signs. So if you are a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, this reading is for you. If you have any of those signs in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. <laughs> I'm feeling a sort of like almost antagonistic energy with the fire signs. I don't know what that's about. Um, things are always really intense with the fire signs. And don't forget that... Um, we all have different signs and different places in our chart, so it's really important to know your chart, and that's very simple to do. You just Google complete zodiac chart uh, calculator, enter the information at the website, whatever website you land on will ask you, and you'll more than likely get an accurate zodiac chart and know how to best harness your energies. This reading is about success, career, business, and focus. It's also all about spiritual health and wealth. I do these videos um, for Moonwood.co, in fact, but I also diffuse them through my channel. Moonwood.co is a platform for entrepreneurs who are health, body, and mind conscious. People who understand that business goes hand in hand with spirituality, manifestation, healing, and doing good for others. Lastly, you can find Moonwood and myself on Facebook and Instagram. I am Divinely Danica on Instagram. And if I did not already introduce myself, I'm Danica. If you know who I am, thank you for coming back. If you've never been on this channel, welcome here. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Probably drop a comment. And if you want to keep up with my content, then do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget that little notification bell. Because I drop videos every month that are pertinent for the season's ruling zodiac sign so a virgo video was just released a couple of weeks ago and i do these elements readings every month they typically come out more towards the beginning of the month but this month energy was different so it, this is being recorded on september 17th and the information in this video is going to be pertinent leading up to the next month so whatever whenever you watch this you can watch this in a year from now and the information in this video is going to be pertinent for the next month of your life just because it's that kind of energy right now so let me see which deck i'm going to be reading my fire signs from first uh it's going to be the black tarot deck as i said i feel like almost like uh like a darker energy almost like a heavy energy i just found an emerald that i had left in that so that's a stone that's connected a lot to archangel michael archangel michael's the archangel that allows you to cut cords to people places feelings and just stagnant energy but also he's very protective he's in one of the angels that you always see with a sword i always see archangel michael with a sword sometimes even a shield he's an excellent fighter i also see zadkiel with a sword so look into those two archangels my fire signs archangel michael and archangel zadkiel these cards are so big <laughs> they're so beautiful mm. i don't usually do my readings outside but i just felt like being outside today i've got some wine over here with some ginger beer in it oh, so good that i put rose petals in with saint john warts as well as passion flower and my fire signs you got the magician but like sideways okay so that energy reads as um it being in reverse but you transitioning out of that and if you don't feel like you actively are then start manifesting to transition out of not seeing your own magic and your own ability to build the life of your dreams very 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 important manifestation is not complicated and yes it's magic but it's not rocket science you can say i manifest enough confidence to truly wholeheartedly and wholesomely go after dreams that are not only going to be emboldening for myself and fulfilling to my soul and my life's mission, but also beneficial to others and their souls and their life missions. 
I did a reading for water signs only so far. So I still have earth signs and air signs to go. But there's a thing about sharing here. There's a thing about not manifesting just for yourself. There's a thing about not being selfish. That's coming up for a lot of the signs. We're going to pick a dragon. A card from the Dragon Oracle deck. Now. You here with me. I, I kind of feel like the card on the bottom of the deck is your card. We got the Golden Dragons of Atlantis. It says. These dragons evoke the memories and the wisdom of the golden Atlantis. Coming out of a long sleep, harnessing your past knowledge, recuperating that knowledge, your abilities and your talents. Not recuperating, I'm sorry, that's, I'm thinking in French. It's about rediscovering Becoming reacquainted with your past abilities, knowledge, and talents. Recovering. No, again, the cards are in French, so. Regaining. Regaining your past excellence. Regaining your past excellence. Okay. I feel that something about this has to do with nature for you guys. The way you're going to get onto that path of regaining your past excellence. There's something with nature. Ugh. Let's see what this is about. We're going to be picking from the Earth Magic deck now. Oracle cards. You put that right there. Put that near its crystal. Interesting that you got a dragon card with a pink, a blue crystal, and that sapphire is blue. Some of you may also fall in love with lazurite. If you look into lazurite, it is not lapis lazuli. It's next level. So Lazarite. But Lapis Lazuli is also very good for fire signs. Let me see. Earth magic. I heard I don't believe in magic. So some fire signs don't understand how sitting around and manifesting is going to help them get what they want. Hi. Hi. Uh, my little one just got home. Okay, I'm gonna go give him some bizu. I'll be right back. Come on, get the bills up. I was saying some of you probably don't really understand magic don't feel like you have time to practice it and stuff listen magic is magic so it can be as simple as eating foods of a certain color to heal a certain chakra or if you know that like if for you red makes you feel like I'm gonna focus it makes me passionate eat things that are red eat things that are red it's that simple it doesn't have to be you know 
hours of meditation and collecting crystals and reading about it it can just be your magic is very individual so what does earth magic deck have to say to us Woo! Ah, ha, ha. this Ooh. not this and this oh that's beautiful and I did hear earlier on like something to do with pink I heard about pink like I almost said when I said this stone is blue before that in my head my head my brain had said it's pink okay so very interesting because your last card from this earth magic deck totally goes with the top card the first card that came out was the lotus flower unfoldment but it's pink so this is has to do with your heart listen to your heart um but also look into stones that are going to help you listen to your heart better so probably look for stones that can allow you to get more focused because through focus you're going to hear your inner voice that is advice for the next month then you got green man synergy with this I'm feeling, understand how everything is connected. How Understand how we are all connected. Um, feel that more often. Be more amazed by nature regularly. Really, really take in what nature is and how amazing it is. This looks like my yard on the card. So really take in nature and understand what nature is. And then if you think that nature is magnificent even the things in nature that you don't like as much are usually aspects of yourself that you don't like there are very few things in nature that you should not like like except maybe for poop i can't think of anything else in nature that you should just be like oh my god i hate that or it's so scary or this those are things to start breathing out of everything that is on earth has a purpose has a message is a messenger is a healer or a catalyst we're all connected there is nothing that is useless in nature and if you see a lot of things in nature as being useless or scary that is a reflection of things within you or your life that to you maybe now have become useless or are scary lastly and this is really the energy of the magician dawn new beginnings i don't pick this card very often mountains and palm trees water more flowers sky and the rays of the sun it is time for a new beginning it is time for a new approach it's time for a new understanding it's time to do things in a new way it's time to see yourself in a new way whatever words you've always used to define yourself start changing those words up or assess and process that vocabulary where does it come from and why do you feel like that I feel almost like it's hard for fire signs to move and change in the next month. But you have a link to Atlantis. You have the power of Atlantis behind you. And if you don't know what Atlantis is, go watch a documentary or two or three or 15 because it's fascinating. Be very careful how you speak of yourself in the next month. So start saying things about yourself that inspire a sense of magic about who you are rather than limitation. Not, oh, I can't, but I will find a way. I can always find a way. I can always find a way. I can be the change. I can be the light. I am the change. I am the light. On that note, that concludes the reading for the fire signs. Thank you so much for always keeping it a bit simpler than the water signs. But um, I love the way these readings unfold. It's a pleasure to do these every month. If you want to get advice like this again next month and you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe so that you don't miss that content. And let me know down below what fire sign you are. Are you a Leo? Do you have two fire signs in your chart? Like, are you a... Uh, fire sun sign with a rising fire sign because that's intense and i'm sending light to you and that is the case but use your fire my loves especially my leos in the next month to burn away what doesn't serve you 
call upon Archangel Michael to help you with that work and see yourself as the magician. You have the power to make anything you want happen and it actually starts by detaching yourself. On this card, the man, like, he's got all these things in front of him and he's kind of like looking off to the side. So don't focus so hard on what you want. Know what you want and go towards it with ease. Start moving a bit more like water and start infusing. This is the lotus card. Start moving a bit more like water and start infusing light. Wherever something's happening that you don't like, send light from your heart. Light. Light. Your heart is capable of doing a lot. And the last thing I would say to look into is your Merkaba. If you've got this Atlantean uh, thing, ask Archangel Michael or just you Google it. Merkaba, it's your light vehicle. It's um, how you move your light body. It's how you uh, move through time and space. And it's also a very rejuvenating place to be when you're in your light body and when you are in that Merkaba structure. Look into sacred geometry, start appreciating nature more, and that's it for your messages. Give me a follow on Instagram or Facebook if you are also on those platforms, and don't forget to check out moonwood.co, not only the website, but know that the website is also active. Its owner and the other resident witches are also active on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm everywhere online as Divinely Danica. It's been a pleasure reading for you. Take care of yourselves. Lots of love. Bye-bye.